Thomas Kavanagh and I'm based here in Ballamoriach in Dingle and I'm in an area about two miles west of Dingle towards Ventry. My farming enterprise here consists of a suckler to whaling enterprise calving down in the month of uh, March, April. My farming here consists of uh, holding is about 36 hectares, pretty much uh, reasonably good dry ground. Spring has been challenging for everyone and for myself, but I suppose I'm fortunate in that I have uh, allowed for it in my uh, setup. I have a farmyard here that has ample capacity to house cattle, and I also have ample uh, slurry storage. So take into consideration it's a fairly wet spring. I'm not too badly off the moment. I have enough of uh, silage and straw. I allow for a six month winter. Animals going in at the end of October, until about the end of April. But then again, I always do allow a little bit of a buffer of two months. So thankfully, I'm not in a situation where I'm looking for fodder. I managed to uh, let cows out and uh, wanelings on Patrick's Day. Uh, however, unfortunately, I had to rehouse the cows and calves uh, the day before uh, Storm Kathleen, and they're still inside. And they will be, I'd say, until the middle of next week, possibly the uh, 18th or so of April. I have in total 20 whalings, uh, ageing from mid-April of 23 until the end of July 23. They're ranging in weights from the oldest of about 430 kgs down to about 240 kgs. The plan is to uh, sell them or shift them on in the next week or two. I have a prospective buyer up the country who is in the organics as well and he's interested in acquiring the uh, full amount, the 20 animals, off farm. We've cut out marts and we've cut out all other middle people. So from that point of view, it's probably the best way to operate, if you can do so. They've been fed um, primarily a diet of high quality silage, along with a organic ration, which comprises of uh, pea, barley and oat mix, which I'm sourcing from a organic uh, grain grower in Cork, in bulk. It's costing me approximately 550 euros to deliver to the yard for the uh, grain and it does pay to buy uh, your grain in bulk if you have the facility to uh, take it in the yard. Well, there's a serious weight gain and uh, the condition of the animals, I think speaks for itself, animals that were born just under 12 months ago and that were weaned from the cows in November when they came in and that were just fed silage and grain, anything up around the 430 kilos is quite a, a good performance in my eyes. The animals will be weighed in the next couple of days in advance of leaving the farmyard but they were weighed last uh, November when they were weaned from the cows and they were weighed, to get weighed again in uh, March of this year. And uh, over that period of five months, they were putting on over a kilo per day, one kg per day. Straw, I've been using and was using straw prior to joining or going to organics for the system of farming that I was operating then. And uh, I have a good relationship with a gentleman in Cork where I acquired approximately 80 bales of straw on average a year. One of the fundamental aspects I find with straw is uh, the straw chopper. It's important to uh, be able to chop up your straw well and by using a straw chopper you won't use as much straw and it will last you much longer. Uh, obviously straw is a fairly scarce commodity this year but thankfully I would have my straw procured early in the year and again I have it the order in for 2024 already, even though he hasn't uh, set his grain, but he knows that I'll be taking two loads. Thankfully, uh, calving has been going quite well to date. The first of the cows calved down on Patrick's Day. Uh, only in the last two days I've had to actually call for assistance, the assistance of my vet. Uh, just, uh, it was two cows in a row, which was quite unusual. But uh, I've had uh, 13 cows calf up to then uh, at their own, no issues, and hopefully that'll be the, the case for the remainder. We have about uh, 15 down and 10 to go, so look, all going well. The bulk of them will be calved down by the end of April, and there's a few running into May. Hopefully left with uh, 25 cows with uh, 25 calves at foot, a stock bull and a replacement cow or two. The intention is to let the cows that have calved back out on grass sometime next week, if the, when the weather improves, in around the 15th to the 18th of April. And as the rest of the cows will be calving down within two days, their plan is to let them out on grass. The breeding plans, I carry a Aberdeen Angus five-star bull here on the farm. He's an easy carver bull. 
and the plan is to let in with the cows from sometime around the 10th of June onwards and uh, to date I'm very pleased with him, his uh, performance regarding the quality and with regard to the easy calving of the cows, it's, uh, I'm very happy with him anyway. This year the plans for silage will be to probably cut down at the end of May, early June. Uh, at the moment the land is far too wet to travel to spread slurry on, my land here is anyway, and uh, once I cut down at the end of May or beginning June I will then apply slurry and then follow on with a second cut probably into sometime in August.